I, at the spur of the moment, I thought of making a video from my desk or my office. And this is not pretty because I did not think about it. I didn't plan ahead. But it's so cold outside. So you can see, two degrees. Nobody in a right mind will go and work. But I want to talk to you about roofers. Can you, do you believe a roofer? Do you trust roofing companies? I pulled up some videos this morning and I'm editing a video and you're gonna see this video uh, where I edit this video showing you every time I'm shocked what I found what roofers has done or other contractors. My thought is you cannot trust anyone especially if they have to make money off of you. You cannot trust a roofing, roofing company, a contractor, anyone. It is very, very, very seldom that you're going to find somebody that will tell you the truth. Very, very seldom. And I've seen this in all my life, that that's why you get prices on roofing that varies from 20,000 to 10,000 for a roof. It is so wide the range because every roofer has a different story. Here's the biggest thing I would think you should be aware of. Most roofers wants to sell you a roof. They don't want to do a repair. That is the rule of thumb. If they're selling you a roof, it's because they don't make money on repairs or they don't make enough money or as much money. It's always about the money. So if you're going to find a roofing contractor and you're going to find three or four of them, most of them is going to tell you they want to repair or they want to replace the roof. The next step would be they want to strip everything off and start new. That's really, really nothing. You know, most roofs you can go over. Most. I've done it all my life. I can go over. Most roofs can be repaired. But it's not very profitable. I made money or I made a living off of repairing roofs all my life. And that's why I can do it. But most roofing people are not set up for it. They don't know. They, they cannot do it. It's, it's, it's all to do with logistics. Anyway. I'm going to show you just a quick video. I lost some of the video uh, footage, but I'm going to show you a video where I'm repairing an EPDM roof. Again, I'm not an EPDM guy. I don't. I, I seldom work with e EPDM, but I'm going to show you what I saw, what was wrong. And I'm going to repair it, and you'll see some of it. And I hope you like the video, and you've learned something. Can you trust a roofer? I don't think so. I definitely know so. Your best protection is to arm yourself with knowledge. If you watch my videos, I will, I'll give you all the ins and outs, what you, to look for and where to find leaks and, and how easy it is to repair. And once you have the knowledge, then you can tell if a roofer is telling you the truth or not. That's the best advice. Know, the, know your subject. Know about roofing. Arm yourself with knowledge. If you know that, you can then make a, de a calculated decision on who to believe and not to believe. All right, let's get started with the video. <clears throat> I'm on a roof in Western Connecticut. There's a leak where um, the scupper is. And it, it is most likely one of those seams there. Most likely. But <clears throat> I couldn't find the leak. I couldn't find where it's coming from. So the plywood is slightly rotten. Let me show you. You can see, you can hear a crack. It's, it's cracking there. 
So there's a leak somewhere here, and, and you, you cannot find it. This is one of the things of an EPDM roof. Very hard to detect a leak or the, the cause of a leak. So let me show you what I have. This is an EPDM roof. I am not an EPDM guy. I don't like EPDM. But if anybody is an EPDM expert and is watching this, I you can criticize me. I understand that. But I do it my way, uh, the best I know. All right, so while I'm editing this video, this is what I found, and this is what's interesting. I opened, I cut open the EPDM because I thought there was rotten plywood. You see it's rotten here, Lewis? Look. Look, it's rotten there. Okay, I snap it here. So I snap a line and Hello. I cut open the pl plywood, okay? That's the purpose of cutting it open because it's rotten plywood. <laughs> That's a good sign. The area we cut open. All right. And we found I don't a see any water. And then I spotted a small <coughs> soft spot there. A water leaked in. And it was not even where the plywood is rotten. That was shocking to me. It's on the other side of the scupper. The plywood is rotten in this side of the scupper. All right. Okay, so I see rusted nails. I say, okay, it was leaking. That's common for EPDM to leak at the seams. So common. One big problem. <coughs> EPDM. Is it just comes off. Watch now. So we got to... And that EPDM came up very easily there. So that was a sign that the water was leaking in there, and that's why. But look here. This is not I removed the insulation, and what did I find? more than Plywood that was just beans. buckling or that's bending under my weight. It's and you right. can see in this area, just there. <sighs> it's cracked. The Leaking plywood is, is cracked there. Okay? Uh, but instead of putting uh, all this to find out that the contractor installed a half inch plywood, I think the, 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 the rafters are 20 inch on center, right. not 16 inch. And that's why a half inch plywood is not good then. So what I did was I installed a half inch plywood over the existing plywood to get it to get the strength there because it's not good for it to flex like that. And I lowered the scupper area so water can run off the roof. But again, can you trust the roofer? That's what they did. Half inch plywood over 20 inch on center over the entire roof. Well, like Dad was trying to save money on three quarter inch plywood. Unbelievable. I did this just at the spur of the moment to make a video on can you trust roofers or can you believe a roofing company? And in, you can tell I did not plan this because my desk looks like this with all the hard drives and electronic devices and things and I didn't plan it, didn't clean up. You can see I'm hanging blankets and blankets everywhere and pillows. And if you don't know about sound, that's to dampen the sound in the office so it doesn't echo here. You can see I have a curtain behind me uh, with a drop cloth behind it. <laughs> so that is just to <laughs> dampen the sound so it doesn't sound very bad, the audio. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. and. I'll see you in the next video.